This cup of paint water has been sitting for like a week. I kind of got to go wash these brushes before they turn to shit. Hey guys, so last week you saw me paint this. This is going to be the cover for my new sketchbook that I'm making. This is the part two video for that. I'm going to be cutting the paper and then sticker bombing the back and I'll have it the right orientation. This was originally going to be the back cover, but I was supposed to have it flipped like this or hang on, I have to figure out how to do this now. Okay. It was supposed to be flipped this way with the holes on the right and I did it wrong. So now it's the front cover, which I said last time, I feel weird parading my art around is like the front, but that's just what happened. So today is going to be the page cutting, hole punching and sticker bombing of this back cover. I actually really liked the way that this artwork turned out. Like it's just one of my favorite things I've painted and I actually got it made into a print. So now you guys can have your own version. And on top of that, I also made the last couple videos I did into prints. I haven't signed these yet, but these are all going to be signed in a metallic marker. So if you want to get your hands on one of these prints, the link to my Etsy shop to get one, multiples, and then I have other ones that are still on sale. That link is also down below. And to know in advance if I'm going to be getting new products in or whatever, the link to my Instagram is down below. I'm probably not going to be doing much for new product for the next couple months. Like little things here and there, but I have some stuff that I kind of want to clear out first. And with the crafters I just did, I just have so much stuff left over, like I definitely over exaggerated. But everything is still available on my Etsy. I have not updated the charms yet. I said I was going to like two videos ago and I never did, but I will get on that, I promise. I have to cut some of those pages down. So I have to like cut them off camera just to be able to get this on size, because my desk is like two feet by like three feet so this was able to hold 95 pieces of paper but this is also a thicker paper so i'm thinking about just doing 80 just to keep it somewhat manageable see i'm gonna go cut some stuff off camera at least just big enough to get on yeah it turns out i only need like 10 pages and that sketchbook has 30. so this is cut horribly but on the bright side if i need more i have 20 more pages which means i'm probably gonna have to do this again two more times if this even turns out if not i got some qr work out of it Okay, like 2,000 circles later, I have all 80 pages cut. My carpal tunnel is killing me. Now this is honestly the moment of truth to see if this actually works or if I just spent three hours doing this for nothing. It better work. That actually got on. Now can I do 80 pages? Probably not. Okay, so it turns out this coil is a bust, but I got a different idea. Ribbon bound. It's not practical, but it's something. And now I just gotta get this. Oh, oh my God, there's glitter in this. 
Once I get this ribbon off, I should be okay. I think I have more ribbons somewhere else if I run out. But these are the little ones I have, and they're cute. So I'm gonna use these these ribbons, and hopefully they work. Okay, none of my methods were working, so I just pulled up this person's YouTube and, and Nessie, I'm not gonna pronounce that right, Combinings. I'm gonna try that method, and if not, I'm gonna go to Bailey J's method, but oh my god, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. I don't have PVA glue, that's what they were saying. I have this, and I think E6000 somewhere. Then I also have this, just in case. I'm gonna try this. bulldog clips but I have washi tape it's close enough this is taking so much longer than I thought it would I was not prepared it wasn't a phase it was a chemical imbalance I probably need medication you think I'm losing it Zapdos I'm not I'm just an artist with a candle addiction a really bad one Okay, it's the next day and I'm going to see if this worked. I kind of got startled this morning because like all of my candles were missing. And then I remembered, oh, that's right, I was using the press book. Now I just have to remember how they go back on my shelf. Oh my god, this actually worked. Cool, now I get to glue the covers on. Guys, it worked! I'm going to use hot glue just because I can't wait for regular glue. <laughs> actually worked all my efforts were in vain. I am the five minute craft. I could have just bought a sketchbook and painted on it, but I decided to make it. And I used hot glue, that's gotta be extra credit. Now I'm usually a fan of coil bound sketchbooks, like the this is usually not my thing. And I know it's janky. As for right now, this is just going on the accomplishments that I did something. And now we get to the best part. I get to sticker bomb. All right, so here is the finished book. I'm actually very proud of how this came out. Like, I didn't think I would actually finish it once. I was starting to get problems with the coil. I did bind it wrong though, like this cover wasn't straight. So now it's like on this weird angle, but it's still cool. Like it's still something I did. And I'm proud that I stuck through to the end. I'm probably never gonna use this, like I said. It's just gonna be something that I have just to be like, I made that. Because if I wanna do something like this, I wanna plan properly, like actually get proper coils. Like the rings they use for binders, but like loose, if that makes sense. But yeah, this was a fun experiment and I enjoyed painting this last week. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week with another IP patch. And I think this is the final one coming. Links are down below. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.